Decimal addition. How do we add two decimals? We add decimals in the same way that we would add whole numbers. The only difference is that we have a decimal point. When adding decimals, remember to line up the decimal points on top of each other. 2.4 has two ones, four tenths, and zero hundreds or thousandths. 1.3 has one one and three tenths, but no hundreds and thousands. Let's draw it out. Squares represent the ones, and the bars represent the tenths. We always add from right to left, so we start adding the tenths. 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 is less than 10, so we don't have to regroup. We put 7 in the tenths place, and then we put our decimal point. Now we add the ones. 2 plus 1 equals 3. So 2.4 plus 1.3 equals 3.7. Now let's do a similar example with regrouping. 2.7 plus 3.5. We start by lining up the decimal points. Let's draw it out. 2.7 has two ones and seven tenths. Three point five has three ones and five tenths. We start adding from right to left, so we start with the tenths. Seven plus five equals twelve. Twelve is more than nine, so we have to regroup. We regroup ten tenths to make one one. We write the one on top of the ones column. We're left with two tenths, so we put that in the tenths column. We bring down the decimal point. Now add the ones. 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 6. So 2.7 plus 3.5 equals 6.2. Let's try another example. 3.12 plus 2.29. We start by lining up the decimal points. Let's draw it out. This time, we also have hundredths, which we're going to draw as circles. So 3.12 has three ones, one tenth, and two hundredths. 2.29 has two ones, two tenths, and nine hundredths. We start adding from right to left, so we add the hundredths first. 2 plus 9 equals 11. 11 is more than 9, so we regroup 10 hundredths to make 1 tenth. We're left with 1 hundredth, which we put in the hundredth column. Now we add the tenths. 1 plus 1 plus 2 equals 4, so we put 4 in the tenth column and we bring down the decimal. Now we add the ones. 3 plus 2 equals 5, so 3.12 plus 2.29 equals 5.41. Let's do another example. 1.68 plus 2.75. We start by lining up the decimal points. Let's draw it out. 1.68 has 1 1, 6 tenths, and 8 hundredths. 2.75 has 2 ones, 7 tenths, and five hundredths. We start adding from right to left, so we start with the hundredths. Eight plus five equals thirteen. Thirteen is more than nine, so we regroup. We're left with three hundredths, so we put that in the hundredths column. Now let's take a look at the tenths column. We have the one that we regrouped the 6 and the 7. 1 plus 6 plus 7 equals 14. 14 is more than 9, so we have to regroup again. We're left with 4 tenths, and we put that in the tenths column. Bring down the decimal. Now we add the ones. 1 plus 1 plus 2 equals 4. So 1.68 plus 2.75 equals 4.43.
Let's try another example. 2 and 49 thousandths plus 3 and 983 thousandths. We start by lining up the decimal point. This time we're not going to draw. We start adding from right to left, so we start with the thousandths. 9 plus 3 equals 12. 12 is greater than 9, so we have to regroup. We're left with two thousands, and we write that in the thousands column. Now we add the hundredths. 1 plus 4 plus 8 equals 13. 13 is greater than 9, so we have to regroup again. We're left with three hundredths, which we put in the hundredths column, and one extra tenth, which we put on top of the tenth column. Now we add the tenths. 1 plus 0 plus 9 equals 10. 10 is greater than 9, so we regroup again. We're left with 0 tenths, which we write in the tenths column, and 1 extra 1. Bring down the decimal. Add the 1s. 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 6. So 2 and 49 thousandths plus 3 and 983 thousandths equals 6 and 32 thousandths. Let's do another example. 4 and 768 thousandths plus 8 and 975 thousandths. We start by lining up the decimal points. Eight plus five equals 13. 13 is greater than nine, so we have to regroup. We're left with three thousandths that we put in the thousandths column and one extra hundredth. Now we add the hundredths. One plus six plus seven equals 14. 14 is greater than nine, so we have to regroup again. We're left with a 4 in the hundredths column and an extra tenth in the tenth column. Now we add the tenths. 1 plus 7 plus 9 equals 17. 17 is greater than 9, so we regroup. We're left with a 7 in the tenths column and an extra 1 above the ones column. Bring down the decimal. Now we add the ones. 1 plus 4 plus 8 equals 13. 13 is greater than 9, so we have to regroup. We're left with a 3 in the 1s column and a 1 in the 10s column. We only have 1 tens, so we bring it down. So our answer is 13 and 743 thousandths. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.